what he's doing right now at 18, it's not just playing the position he's playing. His tactical understanding to then go into midfield. He's playing ahead of England's right back. You know, at 18, to be taking the place of a seasoned international, a guy who's won almost every trophy you can win. And I don't think it was a case of rotation tonight. I think Pep wasn't happy with Kyle Walker at Old Trafford. And he said, you know what, this lad's been outstanding every time he's played. And I'm going to put him into a huge game. That Man City had to win tonight. They had to win. And he was absolutely fantastic. Does he give them more control, is he? He does. I was just going to say he's more reliable in possession. I think that his close control of the ball is exceptional. He releases the ball at the right time. He's obviously got you know, massive defensive instincts. He's obviously getting a pat on the back from his manager there because he knows how good he is. But I, I, every time I've seen him play this season, Kyle Walker brings more more of a dynamic kind of style to his play. We saw that um, in the FA Cup against Chelsea a couple of weeks ago. But I think in general, Pep Guardiola, he wants control of the game. And right now, that young boy, Rico Lewis, is giving him that control because his, his, his game understanding is years beyond. It's just, it's just different, isn't it? Go on, Kara, what he's going to say. No, I was just going to think, actually, you think of when Pep, Pep Guardiola came into the club maybe six, seven years ago. And in the first game, you saw what he wanted from his full-back. So it's not something that's grown over time. Straight away in that first game, I remember here, I'm not sure it was at home, you could see the position of the full-back. So you think how old Rico Lewis was, uh, what would he be there, 12, 13 yeah, in the academy? 11 years old. So what I'm saying is I'm sure as soon as Pep Guardiola comes in, it's like, this is what we do. And this has actually gone right through the academy of how we sort of want our full-backs to play. So he's actually been getting trained like that since probably 12 years of age. So even though we're lauding him for doing it, he's probably used to doing it week in, week out with the junior sides at Manchester City. So, yeah, he looks uh, he looks the perfect fit. But if you look at the role of the full-back in this Man City system, you'll surely have something to say on this, Micah. In the first few years of Guardiola's reign at City, the full-backs were assisting by overlapping and underlapping. And we don't see that so often now yeah. because... The modern fullback in Guardiola's system is Rico Lewis. He's playing a more of a deeper number six role, controlling the play in there with Rodri. Sort of, he's on the same line as Rodri, and that kind of sees. I see a bit of an evolution in the fullback role with what Pep Guardiola is doing because Cal Walker assisted against Chelsea in the FA Cup with an overlap, and he's squared it across the six-yard line and tapping. But that's that's older Man City. We're now seeing a modern day fullback in Rico Lewis emerging into that number six role, and it's just another facet of Guardiola's. So now, so now the fullback or the wing back has not got to be supercharged, physical, and, and powering forward. They've got to be able to play like a top class central midfield player. Is that right? Yeah, that that is right. And I think to to, to add to the points of, of both of them, I think why they, they do that is to to leave the wide men free, leave them one on one. If you look at the game today. So many times Rico Lewis was coming inside, Son was coming all the way with him, allowed John Stones to get on the ball to, to come out when they're in possession with the free and play out that way. And then as soon as the Spurs won the ball back, he would run back and get into that position. And I think technically is is fantastic. We know we called it a couple of weeks ago how special he is. I don't want to put too much pressure on him. I think the difference between Walker and a Lewis, you know, when Walker first came onto the scene, he was marauding up and down. Remember him at Spurs, he was outstanding, even when he was at Chef United all them years ago. So he's learned a different system. Jamie's exactly right. He's been brought up with this new one, and that's why he looks so yeah. comfortable. Just one more on this. It's an interesting tactical point. You can maybe explain for us, Jamie. Why is it that then in this new sort of uh, evolution of a fullback that we're talking about, and we see it perhaps at Arsenal as well, it only happens on, on one side. So we see it, Zinchenko, Ben White is a, an entirely different type of fullback, and the same, same here with Nathan Ake tonight. Well, when we talk about the evolution of a fullback, like, like, we're talking about Man City and Arsenal, we're talking about two teams who've got similar sort of principles. Obviously, Arteta is a, a pupil of Pep Guardiola. No one else does it. But the reason Pep does it is because he loves wide players so wide. And as midfield players always playing as two number 10s, that he'd be left with one central midfield player. So one of the reasons is not just in possession, in terms of you know dropping in there and getting on the ball, it's actually to stop the counter attack. So you'd almost have five forwards and five behind the ball, and that was a problem for Man City actually on the on the second Spurs goal, where actually Rodri was just left on, on his own there at the time. So it's actually a defensive tool as well. So it's not just about actually going in there to try and get on the ball. And you talk about one player doing it one side and one the other, but 
if, if you look about Man City, and I, and I said this, we were talking about this through the game, how important a build-up is for every team, because almost every team goes short now when the goalkeeper gets it on a goal kick, even if they're pressed. When we were playing, you'd go long if you were pressed. You'd only play out if you had time. Now everyone, no, we're going to play out. It's like a set piece. So what Manchester City did today is John Stones went to right back. It was like a back three. Nathan Aki went to left back. Uh, and Kanji was left on his own in the midfield. And then he's in midfield with Rodri. So it's almost like a 3-2-5, if you like. So these systems and how teams play now is, is, is fantastic. And a lot of that is down, I would say, to Pep Guardiola. And I do feel, going back to when he, he first came in at Barcelona, he changed football. He did. And now everyone is following that model. But I do think the full-back position is still almost... Peps, if you like, and Arteta's. I still don't think many other teams do it right now. Everybody wants to grow up to be Rico Lewis, basically. I think that's yeah. what you're saying. That's a conclusion. <laughs> <laughs>